Of course, I'm the A side. Leonard, everybody knows it. They're gonna say, they're gonna push their narrative and try to bully it, you know, on me. But we don't have to fight. I'm playing chess too. You, they think they're the only ones that are smart. I'm very smart too. I created a leverage for myself as well. If you want a Floyd Mayweather, uh, Oscar Del Hoya fight and make that type of money, you gotta come through me because I got the fans right now. Okay, so when they come to me, it's gonna be like, I'm gonna get what I want. Then we could talk about what you could get. And if they don't wanna work like that, we don't gotta do it. Ryan Garcia, he told Javante Tank Davis that I'm the A side or I'm walking out of the fight because I know what I'm worth and I bring numbers. He said that he pretty much is going to walk out of the fight if they don't give him what he want, which he's the A-side. What's your take on that? Man, both these dudes, they got, they got, they both got big followings, but, and they both can put people in the seats. As you can, as you can see, Ryan got big people coming out to his fight. Tank got big people coming out to his fights. He got, they both got a lot of people pulling up to their fights and, and a lot of people watching, but, um, most def most definitely, I think, when I think it comes to the A side, as you know, the A side really not no mode means doesn't mean resume. You know, it's about money and who's putting people in the seats. You know what I'm saying? So, I don't. Know, I think when it comes to the A side, I think Tank got that because Tank, he's he's doing something, he's doing something crazy every fight. He's he's putting people out every damn near every fight. So. I think Tank, he's probably going to be the A-side when it comes to the money because I think Tank has most definitely got more money going into him and more money going into his pocket. So I th I'm going to have to say Tank is the A-side going into this fight. Yeah, there's no doubt about it. I mean, uh, Ryan Garcia does have a lot of followers. But does that mean he more popular than Canelo? Does that mean he more popular than all the other fighters that have less followers than him? Is he more popular than Errol Spence? In the sport of boxing, absolutely. Yeah, then I, not. And, um, I think when it comes to followers, Ryan Garcia, he's more of like, you know, with the little celebrity thing. I think most definitely Tank, he has more of a boxing fan base than Ryan Garcia does, most definitely. Yeah, Ryan got a lot of followers. I mean, don't get me wrong, but they haven't transitioned to real life fans or boxing fans more so. They like to see him on Instagram do what he do, but they haven't transitioned to real boxing fans, you know what I mean? So due to that, unlike yeah. Javante, for example, Javante, I won't say he a superstar because I only view superstars as Floyd Mayweather, Pacquiao, people who could do a million pay-per-view on more than one occasion. They could carry the card and yeah. could do a million pay-per-view. But Javante is definitely the closest thing to a superstar because he'd be fighting a guy that nobody knew, like a replacement opponent. Like, for example, when he was fighting Abner Mares, Abner Mares had an eye injury or something like that, and he had to replace him the week of. Javante replaced him, and Drake showed up to his fight. All these celebrities, 2 Chain, Rick Ross, every hip-hop artist you could think of, all these celebrities. And even Ryan Garcia himself was at the fight while Golden Boy had an event. I think Virgil Ortiz was fighting. And Ryan Garcia showed up to Floyd Mayweather promotion card instead of Golden Boy. And people might say, oh, that's portrayal. But Ryan Garcia, he's like, man, I want to be in an event. And Javante was the whole event because he carried a card by himself. And we saw against Leo, he did more than 300K. He also performed. He also performed because he put on the knockout of the year. He knocked out Leo Santa Cruz. So everybody that bought the pay-per-view, you best believe they're going to buy his pay-per-view again. So it's only going to make it for Javante becoming more of a star, more of an attraction. I think Javante and Errol Spence have the same star appeal. I think they around the same as far as popularity. So he's that type of a star. Ryan Garcia, Luke Campbell is good. It's a good win, but it ain't even a Pedraza win. I mean, Javante right now, he got the better resume and the better name. Because when it comes to A-side, yeah. it's all about money. It's all about how much money you're bringing in. And Javante, well, I think he making close to eight to ten million a fight. So that's a lot of money. On top of that, he got the better resume because he knocked out Pedraza when Pedraza was still undefeated. He obviously knocked him out without getting dropped. He clearly dominated. Ryan Garcia had a hiccup tonight against Luke Campbell. So there's no question about it that Javante is the biggest star because while Javante is getting paid eight, ten million, Ryan Garcia. I don't even know if he cracked the meal yet. I think he probably cracked it against Luke Campbell. But before Luke Campbell, I was told he was getting paid 300, 200K 
them two type of persons, they don't yeah, even come man. close to each other. Javante getting five, 10 million. Ryan getting 200, 300, max 1 million, probably more than that tonight, but it's still nowhere close. So there's no question about it. Javante is the A side. Now, when he was talking like that, I was like, man, I hope he don't pull off a T.O. where he said he the A side just to avoid a fight because T.O., he didn't oh. want to fight Tank to begin with. But when Floyd Mayweather brought up the A side, he was like, oh, let me think about it. Yeah, I'm going to use that as an excuse. I'm the A side, right? But when it comes to Ryan, I don't think it's a similar situation to T.O. because he was asked this question. They asked him, are you the A side? Now, if you're in that position, you got to be a dummy or a fool to say that you're not because you got to go into the negotiations table acting like you are A-side so you could get more of the steak. You could get more of the slice of the cake. So I think that's how Ryan had to answer the question. He was put in a position where he had to say he the A-side because he was asked the question directly. Now, it's one thing if he just came out and said, listen, if Tank don't recognize me as the A-side, then I'm walking out then that sound like he trying to avoid tank. But because he was asked the question, I have to give him the pass till I start hearing about negotiations and what's going on because he clearly nowhere near the A side. I mean, he like the Z side, if we all being truthful. He need Javante. He calling yeah. out Javante. He even being desperate calling out Javante. So he better take whatever Javante give him. I know for sure Javante, he going to please him. He going to give him a, a big purse, his biggest purse. Maybe he going to give him close to $5 million. So I think he should take it if he believe in himself. Because if he beats Javante, then he will be the shot caller. You hit it on the money right there for sure. Um, I, I mean, the whole A side, B side thing, y'all, you already know how this go with Flo, Floyd and Golden Boy, Oscar De La Hoya. You already know they... You know, we all we all even got to talk about how you know everybody know what's going what happened between you know Oscar and Floyd. Everybody know they don't like each other and stuff like that. But um, I mean this whole A side and B side thing, it's like if somebody tell me they're the A side, it's gonna be my mentality. Like you know, I, I think these guys, man, they should just be like, okay, you you think you're the A side? All right, cool, let's fight. If I'm confident enough, I'm a, and I beat you. All right, I'm t then I'm the A side. Then you know what I'm saying? Yeah, then I'm the A side when I beat you. I'm yeah. taking I'm taking more of your money when I beat you. You know what I'm saying? So I think a lot of these guys get caught up in more of the A side B side thing than the competition. If somebody tell me, "Oh no, no, I'm the A side," this and that, okay, all right, I'm gonna beat you, then I'm gonna take most of your money. You know what I'm saying? If you want to claim the A side, you have to put yourself in position to be the A side. You, if you're not on the definitely. A side, then it is what it is. You're just not. You know what I'm saying? I mean, like, yeah, Floyd, it is. Was, like, like Floyd, he put himself in position to be the A side after being Oscar De La Hoya. And after that point, it didn't matter if it was Conor McGregor. Floyd Mayweather was the A side. It didn't matter if it was Pacquiao. Floyd was the A side. You got to remember when Floyd fought Oscar, he took 30%. When Floyd was undefeated, yeah. he was doing 300, 400, even close to 500 on pay per view. He was on pay-per-view on three different occasions, which he did like 300 plus, another 300 plus, and then he did close to 500 against Valdemir. So Floyd was a star. When he fought Oscar, he saw the bigger picture. Like, okay, I'm going to take whatever money, but I know after I beat Oscar, I'm going to be the shot caller. And that's what, how you really become the shot caller. I like what Tio tried to pull off. He want to fight a good fighter like Lomachenko, but Lomachenko never been a star. He was just overhyped. Yeah. You took the praise. But you did not take the fame. In order to get the fame, you're going to have to go through a guy like Tank at least. Even fight Devin Haney. That's going to give you a bigger buzz. Yeah, I just think the 130 division is, this is hands down my most favorite division in boxing right now. I think this is most, mostly everybody's favorite division in boxing right now. There's so many upcoming stars and new talent coming up out of that division. It's so, it's so much coming up out of there. So um, I say for the next this, ooh, that division that's gonna be it's gonna be on fire for for some years to come. So I I just can't wait to see all these 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 young stars and fight each other and see who's gonna come out to be the top dog for sure. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Appreciate the call, my brother, and call back again on another occasion. All right. All right. Thank you, Aki. Appreciate you. I appreciate it, my brother. Appreciate the super chat, my brother Charles Harris. I appreciate the love and support.
Hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it, you're not that pretty. I'm a bad man. Wait, wait. I shook up the wall. I shook up the wall. Hold it. Uh, yo, I shook up the wall. witness there's only one God Allah and Muhammad is his final messenger that's why I said Larry on the bungle fight thanking you they call me the problem but you could call me the can man because anybody can get Africans Americans Dominicans Mexicans anybody can get it